Rose Hall. Please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and law. Those versatile Viscounts of voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and I'm Mr. Jones and how is each and everybody doing today? Welcome to the theater, the famous royal theater and while we're in the theater I say let's go play! Using our imagination as well as good enunciation Together we will be creating a creation that will take your breath away world is a stage, my friend. Attend and hark if you've an ear to bend. We're gonna tail it tail with once upon a time at the start. And there's a happily ever after at the end. Say, Mr. Spine. Yes, Mr. Jones. What story shall we players play today? Well, I say we commence with an icebreaker. Woo! Our voice is flowing in a fantastic flurry. As we feature the fabulous fable of Frozen! Of two very special girls They're full of hopes and dreams A little something like you And if they put some work into it Make their minds up to pursue it They can make their wish come true It may be awfully hard to do But with imagination Some courage and determination If they can conquer all their fears And trepidation Well then they just might make it through a stage, my friend. Attend and hark if you dare to win. Here's one thing on which you can depend. We're gonna make a little magic if you all do your part. We will create a little chronicle of courage and heart. We're gonna deal a tale with once upon a time at the start. There's a happy ever after. Happy end. Happily ever after at the end. Thank you. Time for an encore. <laughs> Sir Samuel. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. An encore? Yes. We haven't even played the play. Yes, but what is it you always say? Right, but first we have to catch the monkey. No, no, oh, the other <laughs> thing you always say. Give them what they want. Oh, give them what they want. Yes, and what they want is an encore. Ah, they want us to sing that song. What song? <laughs> what song? That song, the song, the song that launched a thousand ships. The song which by any other name would sound as sweet. Come, Mr. Smythe, let us invoke the Utopian muse and sing that song. Oh, that song. Wait, what about our story? What is it you always say? Give them what they want. No, no, the other thing you always say. Leave them wanting more. Ooh, leave them wanting more. Yes, and we'll give them what they want. The song. And leave them wanting more. The story. Precisely. Shall we have a huzzah? Lords and ladies, for your auditory amusement, we present the song. Born of cold and winter air and mountain wave of mighty, this icy forceful foul and fair as a frozen heart were mining. Beautiful! Powerful! Dangerous! Cold! I said a magic can be controlled. Stronger than what? Stronger than ten! Stronger than a hundred men! Oh, huzzah! huzzah! <laughs> I love that song! I love all the songs. So, did we leave you wanting more? Yes! Well then let's give them what they want! Lords and ladies, let the play begin. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom called Arendelle, there lived two sisters born into a royal family. The oldest was named Elsie. And the youngest was named Anna. Growing up in the castle, the two girls loved to play together. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Okay! <laughs> Do that magic! Do that magic! Even as a child, Elsie possessed magical powers that enabled her to create ice and snow with the wave of her hand.
one day as they were playing, Elsa accidentally struck Otto with a burst of ice. No! Oh, no! The girl's parents quickly did what any good parent would do. They took Anna deep into the forest and called upon the magical rock trolls to help save her. You mean you can fix her? Well, she's a bit of a fixer-upper. Using his magic troll magic, Bobby the Magic Troll magically healed Johanna, as well as erasing all memories of Elsa's magical powers. He also warned Elsa, Your power will only grow. There is beauty in it, but also great danger. You must learn to control it. Fear will be your enemy. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. And hate leads to suffering. Determined never again to hurt her sister, Elsa kept herself locked away from her, allowing her fear to overpower the great love she felt for her sister. Elsa? Please, I know you're in there. Go away. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Anna. Anna who? Anna one. Anna two. Anna three. Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. Yeah! I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away. To be best buddies, and now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Go away, Anna. <laughs> okay, bye. The years passed. And finally the day arrived when Elsa was to be crowned queen! Which means it's time to introduce our two special guests. Lords and ladies, to help us regale you with the regal regalities. Our two royally royal royals. Please welcome Queen Elsa and Princess Anna! <laughs> Greetings, Queen Elsa. Hello, Mr. Smythe. Hi there, Princess Anna. Hi, Mr. Jones. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We would miss it. Now, you understand how all this works. Together, we shall tell your tale, reenacting dramatic moments along the way. Yes, you play you. And you play you. And we'll play everybody else. It sounds amazing. Let's Let the play continue. Coronation Day was a glorious occasion for all of Arendelle. It seemed like the first time in forever that the doors to the castle were open. I couldn't wait to go outside. Because for the first time in forever, Magic, there'll be fun for the first time in forever. You could be noticed by someone. Oh, oh, uh, hi, you must be the princess. I am, I mean, yes, I am. Well, Lady Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Wow, well, you're so handsome. That's what I was gonna say. And you're so hungry. That's what I was gonna say. Wow, wow. this, this feeling, feeling, it's, it's like, like nothing, nothing I've ever, ever known before. before. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. Love is an open door with you. With you. With you. And me. <laughs> Love is an open door. Can I say something crazy? Will you marry me? Can I say something crazier? Yes! Can I say something even crazier? <laughs> Hi, I'm Prince Hans. <laughs> rushed off to the coronation ball to share the news of their engagement. Oh, 
You cannot marry a man you just met. You can if it's true love. And what do you know about true love? More than you, all you know is how to shut people out. Your Majesty, if I may No, you may not. The party is over. Close the gates! Elsa, please. I can't live like this anymore. Then leave. What did I ever do? Enough, Anna. I'm just trying to protect you. What are you so afraid of? I said enough! Sorcery! Her nose is a monster! She's a witch! Burn her! Stay away from me! Come back! Don't follow me. Elsa flew across a fjord in furious frenzy, freezing everything as she fled. Palms and us go after It's too dangerous. Elsa's not dangerous. She's my sister. She loves me. I'm coming with you. No. I need you to stay here and take care of Aritan. I leave Prince Hans in charge. As you wish. Determined to help her sister, Anna pursued Elsa. Slogging through a snowy landscape, she soon encountered a rugged but sensitive ice merchant named Kristoff. Excuse me, who are you? I'm a rugged but sensitive ice merchant named Kristoff. Oh. And this is my trusty sidekick, Sven. I'm his trusty sidekick, Sven! He's a reindeer. I'm a reindeer! Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Girl! Ah. Well, Kristoff, Sven, I need you to take me up the North Mountain. I don't take people places. But you'll die on the road. I know how to stop this winter. Please, I need to make this right. We leave at dawn. We leave at dawn. Good, so we leave now. Right now? Here comes my sled. Hop in. Do not pull down on the safety bar, please. I will lower it for you. <laughs> Hang on, we like to go fast. Yeah, yeah! So, what made the queen go all ice crazy? Oh, well, it was all my fault. I got engaged, and then she freaked out because I just met him, you know, that day, and- Wait, you got engaged to someone you just met? Yeah, anyway. I got mad, so she got mad, and then she tried to walk away! Well, hang on. You mean to tell me that you got engaged to someone you just met? Yeah! Anyway, the thing is, I Wait. just... What? I have a bad feeling about this. Spin, go, go! What is it? Wolves! Can we outrun them? This sled made the castle run in less than 12 seconds. She can outrun anything. <laughs> Kids of low dam, the lion fuzz, and I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. Oh look, my fangirls, oh the scar will go, and you guys will be there too. When I finally do what frozen things do in summer. Is. No, but if you hum a few bars, I can fake it. Uh, no, no. Do you know how to get up the North Mountain? No, but if you hum a few bars, I can fake it. Ask him if he knows Frosty. What, the snowman? You mean with the corn cob pipe and the button? Yeah. <laughs> Two eyes made out of coal? Yeah. No, but if you hum a few bars, I can fake it. <laughs> In summer.
Uh, I'm so sorry about everything that happened if I know it's okay. okay. You don't have to apologize. But you should probably go. Please. But I just got here. You belong in Arendelle. So do you. No. I belong here, Anna, alone. Where I can be who I am without hurting anybody. Actually, about that. We interrupt the scene to bring you a weather update from Arendelle. Temperatures remain below freezing in Arendelle. It is in deep, 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 deep snow. In fact, it's so cold. How cold is it? It's so cold the cows are giving ice cream. <laughs> this special report is brought to you by Frost and Luna Fizz Crunchy. Breakfast cereal that makes you wish it was lunchtime. Now available in bulk at Wandering Oakens, Trading Post, and Zada. <laughs> We now return to our play already in progress. Elsa, you kind of set off an eternal winter, but it's okay. You can just don't freeze it. I can't. I don't know how. Oh, sure you can. I know you can. I can control the curse. We can work this out. Anna, please. I don't want to hurt you. Everything will be all right. Anna, no. Oh, no. Anna. Yeah. We have to get you help before you freeze to death. <laughs> yeah, I know. How about a warm hug? No. The magic trolls. Oh. your sister. If not removed, to solid ice will you freeze forever. Can't you remove it? Oh, alas, I cannot. Only an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. An act of true love. True love's kiss. And her true love is... Hans! 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 Who is Hans? <laughs> Quick, we have to get you back to Arendelle. They race back to the castle as the winter weather worsened. And while it was difficult for Gustav to say goodbye, he knew he had no choice. To save Anna, he had to leave her with her true love, Hans. Hans, you have to kiss me! Oh, what happened out there? Ooh. Elsa struck me with her powers. She froze my heart, and only an act of true love can save me. A true love's kiss. Oh, Anna. If only there was someone who loved you. Ah! <laughs> my dear, sweet, innocent Anna. You see, my only hope to rule a kingdom was to marry into the throne. I figured after our wedding, I'd stage a little accident for Elsa. Hans, no! I hauled her up the North Mountain and captured Elsa. She's in a prison cell right now, and all that's left for me is to kill her and bring back Summer. You're no match for Elsa. <laughs> no, you're no match for Elsa. I, on the other hand, am a hero that is going to save Arendelle from destruction. You won't get away with this! Uh, I already have. <laughs> Anna was fading fast when Olaf found her, struggling to stay warm by the fireplace. <laughs> Olaf? Hey! Uh, what happened to your kiss with Hans? I was wrong about him. It wasn't true love. Well, in that case, we need to find some other act of true love to save you. Up the North Mountain! Anna! I'm so sorry! 
there's only one way this is going to end. No! Happy end. Fulton, ladies, Mr. Jones. Oh, you are doing it! 